Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I literally cannot contain my excitement right now. For those of you that don't know, we leave for Mexico literally in two days. I am so freaking excited. So today's video is going to be everything that I have purchased for our trip. Mainly this is going to be, there's like two odd products and the rest is kind of like toiletries and just things that I thought I would need in Mexico so and then the rest like the clothing items and everything you will see in a future video so be on the lookout for that but today's video is mainly just like the toiletries and stuff like that like all the little vacation warm weather goodies so if you are interested then please keep watching and let's just jump right into it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also don't forget to hit subscribe it means so much to me and let's get right into it all right so i tried this for the first time today this is like all the rage all over instagram and tiktok it's the brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso i think is what they call it and honestly i don't know if i'm a fan <laughs> it just kind of like it tastes almost like hot Kind of like they put like cayenne pepper or something in it, but then it also tastes burnt. I'm really conflicted. I don't know if I like this or not. I know like a lot of people love it, but I'm just kind of like, oh, I don't know. I think I'll stick to my caramel macchiatos. <laughs> but I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it a shot because everyone's talking about it. But yeah, I don't know. Don't know. So the very first thing that I bought for vacation was this Hydra Flask. Now, if you guys know and you know me, you know I am a Yeti person. I am a Yeti girl through and through. That is like my favorite brand of water bottle. It just keeps my drinks so cold and I need cold water. Like I just said something that I just, I cannot drink lukewarm water. <laughs> so I absolutely love my Yeti. So I kind of feel like I'm cheating a little bit, but here's the thing. I wanted a water bottle for Mexico that I could bring obviously empty on the plane but to be able to like fill it up with bottled water just because like I said I don't drink warm water so if I have something like this I am definitely apt to drink more water and normally on vacation I don't drink a lot just because it is warm and you know so bought this in hopes that I drink more water but we shall see it's going to stand the test. And if you guys are wondering why I didn't just bring my Yeti, it's because I don't have like a screw on top like this that I would be able to move around, put in my beach bag without it spilling. But I'm just interested to see if Hydro Flask is as good as my Yeti. So this was the first purchase and this is a 40 ounce. So that's also a little bit bigger than the Yeti that I have. So we'll see and the color is just absolutely stunning it's like this peachy corally color like perfect for mexico so this was like the first purchase and then the other purchase that i made was this purse it's just a beige colored purse it has like the um, long strap that you can put like over your shoulder or you can do crossbody. Oh, I just like hit myself in the eye. Um, it does have the chain detailing and this part is kind of like a nude color. At the actual purse is more of like an off-white kind of like a creamy color. And it just has this little clasp in the front that you turn. And that looks like this on the inside. I actually found this on Amazon. I just wanted something that I could wear, you know, if we go out to dinner or... You know, just an easy bag that I could toss my phone into, my vlogging camera, have like some makeup touch-ups that I could throw in this purse. Just, you know, something that was just easy and I didn't want to spend a fortune on it. So I found this on Amazon and I thought this was absolutely perfect. The leather is so extremely soft too, which I was very pleasantly surprised by. And I'm not going to be upset if I ruin this, you know, like if water gets on it or I spill a drink on it, you know. So I just thought this was absolutely perfect and I thought it would go with any outfit since it's this cream white color. So we'll see, but I'm really excited to use this. All right, you guys, <laughs> now into this big basket full of goodies. It looks like a lot like sitting here, but like I didn't think I bought that much for this trip. So, hmm. <laughs> But we're just gonna dive right in. 
So I'm just going to start picking things up out of this bin. The first thing that I bought was the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. I absolutely love this stuff and I just bought the mini size just because I don't want to travel with like my normal size bottle. And this is just one fluid ounce. It's just so cute. But I thought this would be perfect for touch-ups throughout the day. Like if I'm just getting, especially because we have to wear a mask like to and from the pool and around the resort. So and my skin tends to dry out with a mask. So I thought this would be perfect just to kind of freshen up and give myself like a little bit of a zhuzh throughout the day. I bought two waterproof mascaras. So you guys know I love my Essence Mascara, the False Lash Effect, but in the green tube. So I bought the waterproof version, which is this one in the blue tube. So I'm really excited to see if this is as good as the original, obviously. And then I also bought my Lancome Monster Big Waterproof Mascara. I'm also going to bring the original, which I love the original. But I just wanted to test the waterproof version of these two. And I just bought the mini just because... I don't need a full size just for vacation, so we'll see how these two wear. And then the next thing that I got was the Batiste Dry Shampoo. I just got a little mini, again, just because I don't want to travel with the full size, so I thought this would be perfect. We're just going for a week, so I probably won't need any more than this. So, And then I also did pick up the Purity Facial Cleanser. I use this to remove my makeup, and the only other size that I have currently is a huge size with a pump. And obviously, I'm not going to bring that, so I just thought this little size would be perfect. And then I bought this Tom Ford Eau or Soleil de Blanc scent. I originally wanted to buy like the actual bottle of perfume of this, but then I saw that they had a travel spray, and it's not a roller ball; it's an actual spray. It looks like this and it's the one in the frosted bottle and I saw someone talk about this on YouTube I can't remember who it was but they mentioned this and they kind of, they said it smelled like sunscreen and honestly I love scents like that for the summertime and this just smells amazing it's like a sophisticated sunscreen definitely is like a summertime scent so I picked this up for our vacation because I love wearing a scent and being being able to like being transported back to that time when I wore the scent so I thought this would be perfect it's like a very beachy summery scent next up I got the SKYN Iceland or skin Iceland hydro cool firming eye gels and these are for primarily the plane just to put these on we have an early flight and I just thought this would be kind of nice just to put under my eyes to kind of give me like a little bit of a pick-me-up. There's only four pairs in this pack, so it'd be perfect for traveling. I've never tested out this brand, but I've heard great things about it, so definitely I'm excited to try these. This is for Brandon, but this is the Bosch & Loam BioTrue. This is contact solution. He definitely needs this, so we picked that up. This is also Brandon's. This is the Redken All Soft Shampoo, little travel size of it. We have gum. This is the Five in Spearmint Rain, the flavor. I used to like chew gum all the time in high school, and this was my absolute favorite flavor. But I just figured it would be nice to have this on the plane, especially with like your ears popping. It's just kind of nice to chew something. So I picked this up. And if you saw, I don't know if that video is going to go up before this or after it, but it's our like how I prep for vacation video. You will have seen some of these items already <laughs> so um and then this okay so I actually bought three lip products for this trip I was on the hunt for the most perfect corally pink lip I was just in the mood for like a lip like that especially in Mexico I just think it's very tropical and very flattering like on a tan so I found these three items. This is a liquid lipstick. It says a cream lip stain, but it's more of like a liquid lipstick in my opinion. This is from Sephora, and this is in the shade 09. And I just thought this would be absolutely stunning with a tan, so I'm going to try this out. And then I also picked up a lipstick from MAC. This is their Love Me lipstick in the shade My Little Secret. And let me just show you guys the color of this. The, all of these colors are very, very similar. But I just thought that would be so pretty. I just think that's such a gorgeous color. So I have a liquid lipstick option. I have a, lip, or a lipstick option. 
then I also have a gloss. So this is the MAC Power Glass Plumping Lip Gloss in the shade Seriously Stoked. And I just thought this would be pretty just to put on top of the lip gloss, just or the lipstick. And it just looks like that. So we'll see. You'll definitely probably see pictures of me in these colors. All right, next thing we have are some Tums. I don't know what it is, but when you travel to like a foreign country, I don't know if it's just the difference in like the food, but I always get like an upset stomach, so I thought these would come in handy to have. Another Brandon product, the Dove Men Plus Care Extra Fresh Body and Face Wash for Brandon. A little travel size of the Crest Radiant Mint Toothpaste. Now you guys know I am an avid spray deodorant person. I just love spray deodorants. I hate when my deodorant like balls up in my armpit. Especially I noticed that mostly when I was doing yoga and it would just like fall onto the mat and it was just the most disgusting thing ever. So I started using spray deodorants and I have not looked back since. I did use native deodorants last summer but I don't know what it is but I just cannot use those anymore. It's just not enough. So I picked this up. This is the Degree Motion Sense Ultra Clear Black and White Deodorant. This is the stick form of my spray deodorant just because I don't want to bring a lot of aerosols on the plane. I know you can bring them in your checked luggage and that's what we plan on doing, but I just don't want to take a ton of them. So I figured I'd just get the stick form and use that up. We'll see if it pills up in my armpits, but... All right, the next thing I have in here are the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. I saw these and thought these would be absolutely perfect. They are like individually wrapped, and I think these there are 20. Yeah, there's 20 of them. I thought this would be absolutely perfect to put in my beach bag in case all of a sudden I want to go swimming and I should take my makeup off. Or, you know, at night when I want to take my makeup off, I just thought this would be perfect just to kind of stick in my purse and go. So picked these up I picked up some q-tips I just love the little like traveling case that they come in these are just a must especially if you hate water in your ear I picked up this eyeliner from Urban Decay it's their 24 7 eye pencil it's waterproof and long-lasting and I picked it up in the shade chaos I just thought this was the prettiest blue and I don't know what it is but when I'm on a vacation like I'm more apt to branch out of my comfort zone and like try different colors, hence like the coral lipstick and this blue eyeliner. I just thought this would be absolutely stunning to put on my eyes. So we'll see. We'll see if I use it. <laughs> but I just thought this shade was absolutely gorgeous. I picked this up. This is the Neutrogena Invisible Daily Defense Face Mist Sunscreen with SPF 50. I thought this was kind of cool. Obviously, I'm going to be wearing sunscreen underneath and on my face like underneath my makeup if I'm wearing makeup but I thought this would be perfect just to spray as like throughout the day if you feel like the sunscreen's wearing off just to spray a little bit of this on top of your face also just to give yourself a little pick-me-up kind of like the MAC Fix Plus so I want to try this I'm hoping that it won't break up my makeup if I am wearing some or like make it weird but <laughs> we'll try it and I'll see if this is a good product it says new on the bottle I don't know how new it is but definitely wanted to try this and it says it's water resistant for up to 40 minutes so this would be kind of nice just to kind of spray on your face if you don't want to reapply like a lotion so we'll see all right next thing I'm kind of excited about just because I have hair extensions and these are towel scrunchies by the brand Kitchish I think that's how you pronounce them but they're just like these little scrunch hair scrunchies but they're in like a towel um, material so my idea is if I do go swimming I'm gonna put my hair up in these scrunchies and kind of help get some of the water out of my extensions we'll see and I love just wearing scrunchies in general and I thought this like leopard print was really pretty but I kind of think that's like super innovative it says for your sweaty salty wet hair I only have a couple more items here. <laughs> the next item is the Vita Liberata Body Blur. I have heard so many people talk about this and a lot of people have said it's kind of like body makeup. So I was kind of thinking I would use this product like in the evenings before we go to dinner just to kind of smooth out my skin and make it look a little bit more plump and bronzed. This is like a colored formula. I got the color Latte Light. 
if you're curious. This I found on TikTok last summer and it was like sold out on Amazon. It was sold out everywhere. And so I decided to try it for this trip. It's the Maui Babe Browning Lotion. I just saw this girl use it on TikTok and I was like, I need that. <laughs> like I was just randomly watching TikToks one day and she used this and she got so dark literally within a couple of hours. So I'm excited to try this. I have been using the Maui Babe Browning Lotion, but the In Salon or Tanning Salon formula, and I have been loving it. I really do think it has made me darker. I don't know if you guys can tell right now, but actually I can kind of show you on my wrist. So I don't ever take my watch off. So that's what my wrist looks like right now. I don't even know if you guys are going to be able to pick that up at all, but I definitely have gotten darker. Now, it was a little bit off-putting because it was kind of like caramely smelling and very, very thick, but I'm interested to see if this makes me even darker than the tanning salon formula, so I definitely am going to bring this and check it out and see if this makes me super dark because obviously I want to be as tan as possible, so <laughs> definitely excited to try this. Next up, I have shampoo and conditioner. This is from Sol de Janeiro, the Brazilian Jehoia shampoo. I think I'm saying that right, and conditioner. This is just like the little baby travel size. I've been wanting to try the full size of this out for a very long time, actually since they first came out with them. And I figured, you know what? Now's the time to try it when I'm on vacation because I can just take these little travel sizes and see if I like them. I obviously, the scent is so amazing. I absolutely love it. It smells so tropical. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to use these, but hopefully these make my hair less dry because the salt makes my hair so incredibly dry. So we'll see. The next thing is also by Sol de Janeiro and it's their Coco Cabana Moisturizing Body Cream Cleanser. I just thought this would be perfect for as a body wash and it's kind of like that body cream. So it's a little bit thicker of a formula. So I thought this would be perfect also to use for shaving. Oh, it smells so good, so good. Then I got this guy, this was kind of an impulse buy, but it's the Day Tripper. And it is by the brand Sunbum, and it's the premium travel size sun care essentials for those lady, lazy days in the sun. It comes with a moisturizing sunscreen, an SPF 30. It comes with an SPF 30 lip balm and coconut, and then the cool down after sun lotion. And it comes in this cute little pouch. That is what it comes in the bag. And I smelled this, and oh my goodness, it smells so good. Like if you watched my video from um, this past summer. I've been a die hard banana boat person. I just love the smell of that and copper tone. But then I smelled this and I was like, okay, this smells really good. It kind of smells like bananas. I don't know, <laughs> but like that fake banana smell, but in a good way. So I really want to try this and I just love that this was travel sizes. I'm really looking forward to using the sunscreen, like the lip balm and this cool down lotion i love putting this on when i've been out in the sun all day and just coming back to the resort showering and i and then putting this on i absolutely love that especially if i'm feeling a little bit crispy so i'm excited to take this and to have this little pouch just in my little beach bag it's just so cute it says good vibes only love it and then because we're going for a week the travel size sunscreens just aren't enough for me I am very, very fair skinned and I burn very, very easily. So one little three ounce bottle is not enough. So I did buy a full size of the Sunbum Broad Spectrum 30 or SPF 30 sunscreen. Again, I just love the scent of this and I bet you <laughs> I'll probably be close to going through this entire bottle in one week. I literally reapply like every couple hours because I'm terrified of getting burnt. So I just, I can't wait to try this out though. I've, like I said, I've always used copper tone. So I'm really excited to see if I like this better. And then last but not least is the Sun Bum Tanning Oil and SPF 15. I love to layer, like I'll put the, S or the lotion on first and then I'll put on an oil. I know literally it sounds contradicting because i was just telling you guys that i'm fair skinned very prone to burning but i love using an oil just because i feel so moisturized 
and I just love the way my skin looks with an oil on it so that's why I typically use both like if I were just to use an oil I would fry like bacon like it would not be pleasant whatsoever so I like layering and because I loved the scent so much I thought you know what I'm gonna try the oil as well so I literally have three <laughs> sun products to try so honestly I probably put the sunscreen on first and then the browning lotion and then the oil but <laughs> saying that out loud makes me sound like a crazy person but that's just the thought that goes through my head I don't know will I actually use all three products on vacation we'll see but that is it that's the remainder that's my bin is completely empty so hopefully you guys maybe have some good ideas for what you want to bring on spring break I definitely plan on doing a video when I get home just showing you guys what products I loved using the most like what I got a lot of use out of and maybe some products that I didn't use at all or just didn't like so be on the lookout for that. I do have lots more vacation content coming. This is like the first of all my vacation content. I am planning on doing a pack with me video currently working on that right now as well. Um, how I get ready for vacation is kind of like all the prep work I do before I go on vacation. Um, I'm going to do like an outfits of like what I wore on vacation in Mexico. I'm also going to do a makeup routine in Mexico. Um, just kind of like a very lightweight summery make makeup look. So be on the lookout for those videos. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and sticking around if you're still here. And I am just so excited. You will actually be watching this video when I'm in Mexico. So that's just crazy to think about. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.